Hi, this is Zach Mir with the uh, Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Tuesday, the 5th of April. Starting off with Afritin, which is um, soaring to new highs here. <clears throat> I saw somebody on Twitter commenting on how beautiful the chart looks, and uh, I suppose any chart that's soaring to new highs uh, looks uh, quite pretty if you're a bull. Uh, we've uh, had a few milestones hit in the recent past. Uh, we had previously 8 pence as the target here. Uh, that was the top of a rising trend channel from February last year, but we managed to uh, consolidate there and then push higher. Uh, current situation is that we're looking for the stock to head up to the top of that rising trend channel from uh, the end of 2020. That's currently pointing at 13 pence plus at its resistance line projection, and hopefully we could see that by the end of next month at the current rate of progress. All the while, we've been keen on this stock on the, off the back of the, um, the golden cross that there was at the beginning of February and also the uptrend line in the RSI window, which has been bounced off several times and it is still very much in place. So hopefully 13 pence here while we hold above 8. And really back below the 50-day line at 7 pence, really delaying the upside scenario. Seeing some of the COVID uh, plays come back in, uh, into business. Uh, first one uh, today is uh, Abingdon. And here you can see that um, we managed to break through the 50-day moving average for the first time since November. Uh, in the previous, uh, in the past, recent past, uh, breaking through the 50-day line has been a a sell opportunity, but maybe that's not the case this time. Uh, we've got a broadening triangle here, which uh, could, well, at the moment it's got its, it's pointing up towards uh, 35 pence, which seems to be rather ambitious. Uh, that's just above the 200-day moving average at 33 pence. Again, that all that looks as though it's a long way away, but uh, a decent weekly close above the 50-day line at 13 pence. Could at least see the shares head up into the upper teens, which is where they were back in February. And then after that, we can uh, dream of higher uh, progress for the stock. But I suppose if you're a fan of the shares, you would be looking for the shares to hit 35 pence over the next couple of months. Um, stop loss just below 10 pence seems to be more than sufficient given the recent history of the shares. Switching sectors, and we've got Echo Energy. Here, uh, the shares have uh, flipped up through recent neckline resistance around um, the 0.45 pence area. Also got the 50-day moving average starting to rise, which is uh, normally a very good sign if it's near the lows, which obviously we are. And uh, we've had that sideways shuffle above the rising 50-day line over recent sessions, so that shows that uh, momentum starting to build on the upside. We already had a bullish divergence line uh, here, multi-tested uh, from November, so that basically uh, gave the takeoff around the 0.4 level at the earlier part of last month. And all that's left uh, for us to look to, uh, look to do now is try and anticipate what the upside here may be. Uh, top of that channel from uh, back in December, currently pointing as high as 0.7 pence. That could be seen by the end of next month if we're lucky. Uh, but at least the minimum here towards uh, 0.55, uh, 0.54, which is the uh, initial 2022 resistance and also the 200-day moving average. Only back below 0.4, really delaying the upside scenario. That's where the 50-day moving average is. On to a stock which is um, looking uh, in, well, perky at the moment. We've got a bear trap gap reversal here at uh, GTEC. So we just uh, narrowly went lower than the February low uh, by a fraction and gapped up through the 200-day the moving average, then broke the gap high day at uh, 29 and a half pence uh, today. Uh, that suggests that we should at least head towards uh, the old November resistance at 37 pence. If you're a fan of the shares and looking for uh, uh, a bigger target, then it's probably up towards uh, the 44 or 45 pence area, which is the top of that rising trend channel from back in May. Sorry, a bit, a bit of a messy chart here, but uh, basically 40, the mid-40s, while we hold above the 200-day uh, moving average around 27, wouldn't expect this now to go back below 25 pence anyway. So uh, the overall picture above the mid-20s, looking for the mid-40s at GTEC. Onto a stock which had uh, decent news today from memory. Um, Longboat Energy, uh, and here we've gapped up rather nicely. We gapped down back in February, gapped up here now, and uh, already had a, a resistance line projection waiting, top of that triangle from uh, back in April last year, heading towards 
102 pence. Uh, that looks a rather um, ambitious at the moment, but at least while we're above the 200-day moving average at 67 pence, we could try and fill some of those gaps up towards the 80s, uh, well, the, the 80 to 90 pence area over the next month or so. Only back below that gap, um, the un well, the uh, bottom of the gap from overnight at 62 pence, really delaying the upside scenario. Moving along to uh, Open Orphan, which uh, uh, where the uh, I suppose the contracts keep coming in, and uh, hopefully that will soon fil uh, filter through to the share price. Uh, here we can see that uh, the shares just need to get through that 50-day moving average, 15 and three quarter pence. Uh, if we can do that, then it's up towards the um, uh, 20 pence area, which was um, late January, early February resistance for the stock. Hopefully now we've uh, put in decent support around 13 pence for the shares, and it's good to see the RSI just. Uh, push above the neutral 50 level, which can be the start of a reasonable rally for a stock or market. On to Asirium or Asirium. Uh, here we've had uh, decent news today and um, that has caused the shares to gap up higher. Hopefully it'll be third time lucky breaking that uh, slightly pesky 9.5 pence uh, resistance area. If we can do that this week, then uh, we could see the shares head back towards uh, what 14, 15 pence, uh, which was support on the way down. But uh, need to hold the recent support around uh, six and a half pence in the interim. But uh, hopefully, as I said, with the gap higher today, we will at least retest nine and a half pence over the next few sessions. Surprised to see the daily chart of um, Predator looks so healthy at the moment. We've got that uh, U-shaped. Uh, uh, bull flag, uh, which has been uh, sort of in place for the last uh, two, three months. Uh, good consolidation there. All the while we've been above the 50-day moving average, which is rising, which is really good. And also we closed that gap down around the 11 pence uh, level, above 11 pence, looking for as high as 22 pence over the next um, one to two months, or maybe by the end of next month, uh, given that we've spent so long consolidating. And that consolidation uh, wholly above the neckline resistance there at 8 pence, so even more strong by implication. Moving on to uh, another stock which is uh, sort of heading higher in a, a sharp way. We've got um, Panther Metals uh, broke that neckline resistance at 10 pence. Above 10 pence, we're looking for the top of that uh, broadening triangle from uh, basically this time last year. That resistance line projection heading towards 16 pence, and we could see that perhaps by the end of next month, or hopefully even sooner, given the way that the shares are moving. We were warned of the uh, imminent turnaround by this uh, bullish divergence line there. So we had lower lows, but higher RSI trace. And that happened uh, actually in mid to late February. So uh, we already had one trend line break there, a bit of consolidation, but then back this time. And that W-shaped reversal uh, looks as though it could be very healthy for Panther Metals. On to perhaps the RNS of the day and maybe uh, the month actually with some sovereign metals. Uh, interesting that the shares have been uh, rising very healthily uh, since the middle of last month, which is um, always pleasant to see. Uh, obviously, somebody who's got a bit of psychic ability as well in the market. Uh, we were flagging the rise here on the basis of the unfilled gaps to the upside. So we've had quite a few of these. Uh, the main one there was through uh, the upper 20s. And then another one at the beginning of this month through the 35 pence level. Current situation is that we're uh, rapidly heading towards uh, the previously stated target 60 pence. That should be seen by the end of the month and if we're lucky by the end of the week. Uh, upside value by we hold above our old target that we had at 43 pence, 43, 44 pence. Uh, that should now become a new support. In fact, it became new support yesterday with yesterday's low. So looking very healthy. And in fact, uh, if you're concerned that this may be the top of the line for uh, Sovereign, it doesn't look like that because we've got both the 50 and 200 day moving average currently rising into a golden cross. The run up to a golden cross the week or two before it happens, which is roughly where we are at the moment, tends to be the strongest part of the cycle. So there could be um, a bit more on the upside or maybe a lot more on the upside, but 60 pence, the technical uh, target there at the top of that February uh, trend channel. Onto a stock which is pleasant to see, has made a decent rebound. I've uh, got Sound Energy here. Here we've uh, had that final test of uh, support. That's basically a triple bottom of July, uh, then October, and then March support, all around 1.2 pence. 
Uh, current position is that we've, uh, we're, we've broken through February resistance at 1.9 pence. The longer we stay above that, uh, the greater the chance of a move towards uh, the previously drawn resistance line projection from uh, uh, the early part of last year, heading towards 5 pence. And that could be seen over, well, maybe by the end of next month, actually, the current rate of progress and uh, only really um, delayed by any break back below the 50-day uh, moving average at 1.7. But that's starting to rise now. We've got the 50-day, uh, the 200-day moving average also rising, so we're going into a golden cross, and that could be quite a decent move. Uh, for those who are sort of trained spotters on these matters, uh, there was a, a warning, uh, again, that the shares could be rising quite uh, heavily or steeply uh, with that bullish divergence there, so that second uh, lower low for March. Uh, with a higher RSI, so bullish divergence doing the trick there for sound energy. Onto a stock to, or the type of stock I don't normally cover, but uh, Source Bio just had an island reversal here. Also bullish divergence there with the uh, the lower low for uh, April, but higher R for, for March rather higher RSI. That uh, bear trap gap reversal suggests that uh, above the uh, Old support there from last month at 122, we could be heading back to retest at least the 200-day uh, moving average at £1.42 over the next few weeks, maybe by the end of next month. Stop loss back below the uh, floor of the gap at 114. Finishing off with the stock I think I covered a few days ago. Seems to be uh, responding quite well. Here you can see that uh, the shares have broken that line of resistance and the 50-day moving average, which I think is when I covered uh, the stock the last time, the 2.7 pence above that. We're looking towards the top of that broadening triangle at 4.6 pence, uh, that December resistance line, to be hit, hopefully, by the end of this month. That's it from me today. More updates tomorrow.